it's in there, just roll to the back. Hello. From the back corner of the world, hello, hello. Just a bundle of energy right now. <laughs> Keep your That's all I can say in the matter is I am very much a bundle of energy. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Breathe out as you raise your knees. I'm also the definition of sarcasm. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Ouch, itchy. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. Yes, looking great. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on your form when raising your arms. This stretch works your core as well. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. <sighs> Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. As you get comfortable doing the stretch, make sure you're still making large movements. This stretch works your back. Let's do one more of each. Great job. Oh, I thought it was warm. Okay. Nope, that was it. Readjust that thing. victories, eh? I actually did tweet that, alright. <laughs> now I'm paranoid that I'm not just tweeting stuff. Okay, we're good. <laughs> but yeah, like, now... Now whenever I stream Ring Fit, I get low-key... I leave on time. I forgot. I get low key worried that I never tweet that I've gone live anymore. <laughs> Just because that one week that I did that, I did that. Okay. Let's be a good warm up one. Miss the ones on the right, why don't you? <laughs> Smart. Keep pushing me in against your stomach. <sighs> Shoot. I was that close to forgetting to use this. Okay, good, you stop. I just want to make sure I got that before I continue my run. Okay, that's actually. I feel like I'm going to make a great mistake by doing this one, but let's start with this one.
my brain will come to in just a moment when it comes to actually having conversations. My, uh... I stayed up way too late recording stuff last night. And I haven't really given myself a moment to reprieve yet. But I also didn't want to repeat a blast week where I just withheld from my... What is pretty much my largest... Uh, probably my, lar my biggest workout day overall. Uh, yes and no. I guess... I guess even though I don't go for the full hour within Ring Fit Adventure, I still work out for roughly two hours on weekends. So I guess two, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when mostly I've been working out, not recently. Granted, I've said this a million times, but my 9 to 5 job is physical labor, so... I don't necessarily need to work out constantly because I'm not like a desk job. Like I was like 12 years ago now. There we go. Yeah, I don't work a desk job like I used to, so I can I can afford to go a day or two or three without work without having to work out because I don't I don't sit idly all freaking day anymore. Then I'm an idiot, and I, then, then I'm an idiot, and I do more physical work, I do more physical workout type stuff at work than I should. Like how most places of business say, don't lift anything more than 50 pounds without help. Meanwhile, here I am lifting a 55 pound box up in the air, moving it, and setting it back down. <laughs> Instead of using the dolly that they give us for that kind of stuff. Again, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go. Give your hips fill as you quit your body. All right. Wonderful. Great. Amazing. Very nice. Sharp. Good job. There we go. Nicely done. Now my brain's waking up. Very nice. Keep it up. Okay. Nice. Not gonna lie. Great. Awesome. Not gonna lie for a minute there. About Great. what is it? Ten minutes ago Perfect. now. I was just laying on the floor of the Good room job. where I'm standing as we speak. Sure. Just laying on the floor. All right. Staring Keep at the ceiling. Up. Almost falling asleep. Well done. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. Very nice. Twenty more. Neat. Excellent. Nice. Nicely done. Tell me yes. how was the burger yes. that KO'd. It Wonderful. wasn't. No, it was. Good Whew. But anyway, complaining, complaining about my lack of initiative post work. I hope everybody's having a halfway decent day today. Hope you're enjoying your Thursday. Oop. Missed it. Saw it, missed it. Oh well. Now like I actually need the ingredients. I barely use smoothies anyway. Oh. You did it. Okay, nice. Oops, 
that almost. It's... I will say, personally speaking, it's been one week since you looked at me, tilt your heads and sides that I'm angry. <laughs> no, no barely angry ladies. Um, it's today, Thursday, at least in the area of the world where I reside, it's today's the last of the at least from what the near future holds, it's the last of the summer hot days, as it were. Meaning, this is all things, all thing, all hopes considered, that all hopes considered that this should be the last. Oh, I just missed that. Dang it! This should be the last like 80 plus degree day. Actually, it was 90 today when I went out to my car after work. Well, that's a detail. 90 and mildly human. Yeah, my hope is that today is the last of the obnoxiously hot weather that's been plaguing us for the past two weeks. I like how I say obnoxiously hot weather, where anybody from like California or Nevada or Texas or Georgia would say, bro, that's perfect weather. I'm over here complaining about like mid to high 80s and they're over there going, dude, can I have that? Oh, I missed the item in the tree. Oops. Too busy gloating about my lack of, he of death by heat. Or the fact that I am dying by heat. Yeah, tomorrow, well, Amazing. tomorrow's still gonna be 80 for a high, which, you know, three, four years ago I would have gone, oh god, it's 80, it's gonna be miserable. For some reason, 80 is like just about perfect weather for me. Even though I'm the kind of person that will never wear shorts, I will never, uh, I will never wear shorts unless I am forced outside in 85 plus degree weather for more than 10 minutes. But as somebody who wears pants and a t-shirt almost Amazing. exclusively, except in the winter, I put on a sweater nice. and a wear coat. Awesome. 80 degrees has now become like my norm and where it feels okay. nice. Keep it up. So either I'm developing early onset old, or my body's my body okay. after three nice after no well, not three after two years of dealing with being not a blob of fat my body's finally going okay fine geez here here's the temperatures that normal people function at is that technically acclimation even though it's my own internal body temperature, not external body temperature. Ah, it lives. Good. That'll keep you going. Well, not gonna get a KO, but we can pull. Anyway, that aside, like I said, I hope everybody's Thursdays, Thursday or the last few days of this week, because I haven't seen you for a couple days. I hope everybody's last few days of this week have been pretty good. I've been 
outside of my personal struggle with, uh, what do you want to say? Outside of my personal struggle with a sleep schedule, or in this case, lack thereof. Oops. Oh god, what happened? Well, I streamed for you guys on Monday. I streamed for you guys on Monday after work. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, a strong as hell thunderstorm rolled through. And Tuesday, I try and make my recording day, so if I want to do anything additional, I can do it on Wednesday. But, there was a super strong storm that blew in Tuesday, like about 4 or 5 o'clock, my time. And I had a sinking suspicion, sorry, shoulders are sore. I had a sinking suspicion that... <clears throat> that 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 uh that that storm is going to knock off the power, so I put off recording, hoping nothing bad would happen, right. and that you know seven o'clock would roll around. I'd be like, okay, storm's passed. I can just record. Nope. About five thirty that night, storm rolled through, knocked out power for four hours, which is probably adds to my sleep deprivation issue because I said because. Instead of doing the intelligent thing and just grabbing my Switch, you know, playing games on my spirit, playing games on my battery-powered video game system, and staying up and then going to bed at a reasonable time, I said, huh, you know what would be better? You know what would be a better idea? Taking a nap for those four hours the power is out. Needless to say, I woke up. Fantastic. Needless to say, I woke up about 10, 10 30, proceeded to stay up till midnight, and then went back to bed and slept for another four hours. And then I only slept like five and a half hours last night. My sleep schedule is in shambles, and I would not be surprised if I would not be surprised if I uh, sleep 12 hours come sun or Saturday morning. Great. Considering Friday night. I usually, unless something else comes up for the week over the weekend, Friday night's usually my big hangout with friends time, and my big work on videos time. Work on editing videos, rather. Shoulders are, shoulders are sore. Yes, my folders are sore. Ugh, man. I say it a lot, but I always feel the need to reiterate it occasionally for people who come in going, bro, why are you stopping mid-rep? I always, I always have to tell people, I work a physical labor job during the normal daytime work hours. <laughs> Doing additional ring fit stuff on top of that is, is a struggle, but I still do it to set an example nice. and also to keep my, my, my own fitness in check. take that. Nice work. Normally I do a little better and I hit 64, but we take that still. <sighs> and now, back to our normally running program. Of running. Quick 
need that. Um, that's new. You did it. But anyway, I'm glad I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I'm starting off with this course over all other courses I could at this point, because, because of all the flying segments here, like if I do a full day of ring fit working out, which equates to one hour in game time, that stopwatch in the lower left corner for anybody looking around. If I decide to have a full day of ring fit, exercises this is one of the stages that are on my running rep set just as a cool down from all the running and squats I do during that running set and why is this a cool down well as you can see all I'm doing is flexing the abs flexing the abs and just pulling a and just pulling a bungee cord into my stomach So yeah, this is a, this is definitely 100% a wind down stage for me. Cause I don't run, cause I don't have to run very much during this stage. I guess not a wind down, a breather stage, but we're. Charge your squat tower, but don't overextend. Release toward the victory. You know what? I don't think I've checked my pulse like at all. That wasn't anything too strenuous, so I'll be a little upset if I go anything right over like, uh, if I go over anything like, uh, 120, I'll be a little upset at myself. But I'm thinking this is like a 110, 114 range. I'm a little upset at myself. <laughs> okay, in my defense, in my defense, this is the fourth time over the course of the last two weeks I've even worked out. <laughs> nope, and I want to intentionally pick the wrong ones. I did that the first time around anyway. Anybody's kind of also I should add if anybody's just kind of stopping in to the stream, you know curious what ring fit is in the first place Even though it's been out for like over a year at this point okay. Time to run. If you've ever been curious what ring fit is or you want to try it out on your own You know, I welcome you to mimic my movements Mimic my movements while I play see if it's something you would want to do just if you yourself don't work out too much don't follow my footsteps, because I'm playing on max difficulty. Nice Wait, before work. I go running. Before I go running. Uh, I guess acquire my second to last skill. Huh, 460 at three wide. <laughs> Is that a replacement or anything? <laughs> I'm not replacing my Warriors 2 pose. It's not a place anything. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Holy cow. Who knew water and green olives would do this to your system? <laughs> oh, wait, there's a, there's a different reason I came in here. Well, one. And two. Yeah, I... What is it? I suppose I haven't, it's, it's happened, it's been happening in my life for like the past few weeks now, but I guess I haven't mentioned it like in a stream of any capacity or anything like that. My recent fascination with snack food, well, healthier snack food, I mean, I did just, I would lie if I didn't say it, that I didn't just finish polish, polishing off a 
sheer size bag of Twix. <clears throat> but my recent fascination is like when I get home from work now, I go into the cupboard and uh, I go into the fridge and I grab these like they're like, they're like little Jello, little like fruit snack or, or little uh, fruit cup size things, but they're filled with olives. And pretty much I've been eating those the moment I walk in the door, almost every night. With how many of those I eat, so I should just like buy a quote unquote economy size uh, jar of green olives and just pour some in a bowl and go from there every night. But I know the night, I know the night I decide to do that on my grocery shopping list of buying the normal small like fruit cup things is the night that my body's like, okay, I'm over the green olives thing. It's pretty much something I've inherited from my father. Where it's like, huh, there's this thing. I'm craving this. Oh yeah, that's the thing I'm craving. Eats nothing but that for two weeks. Okay, I'm done. And I just don't eat it again for like four months. <laughs> and it usually happens right after I buy the surplus size version of it. Like within two days. Like, it's like oh boy. Surplus, shoot, surplus size thing. I'm done with it. <laughs> and it usually sits in the fridge and rots. And that was me and that was me with eggs. This like two months ago. I was like, oh boy, eggs! Eat eggs again! I missed those when I was dieting. Had them for like had them like twice. And then the rest of the 18 carton went bad. There they go. There go the little bots. Little bits and bots. And with nothing to heal, the yoga mat stands stands tall, alone. Ready to fight. I haven't done these for a while. Pretty sure next day is just gonna be like, oh do nothing but but leg exercises. Ha ha. Okay, let's move. You can exercise your lower body while I didn't want to do the revolve crescent lunge because I would have done like four reps of that in one direction and then it would have ended. This way, if I if another if it's another green if it's a green solo enemy, I can now double up on what on uh, how much I do. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Now we're good. Uh -huh.
I hate doing that one. Not because of the fact that squatting and still rotating my upper body while flexing my abs still. But because of how I do it, I feel like I'm going to knock the Joy-Con off my left... Or knock the joystick off of my left Joy-Con. Granted, it's a, it's an old, old, old gray Joy-Con. Actually, I think it's the only, I think my left Joy-Con is my only surviving Joy-Con from when I first bought my Switch. You did it. And it's not going to last much longer, to be honest. Dang it. That was probably the experience medal. No, there it is. Yay! But yeah. The Joy-Con on my left hip right now is the last, other than the system itself, is the last remnant of my Switch purchase over five years ago. Man. You did it! The Switch is five years old, man. Think about that for a minute. And it still struggles to this day. Doing great. Like I will say, I still love my Switch. Great. Or... Sorry. <sighs> my energy dipped, I need a moment to recover. Okay. Let's select this Give me that moment, actually. For the fact this thing is a five-year-old system, you know, this is, this switch is a generation one, version one, first week switch. And though I've not played as much as some of my friends may have played their switches, I have yet to experience Joy-Con Drift. I have yet to experience my battery exploding out the back of it. I have yet to have this thing overheat on me. So it's been a, you know, considering for my computer, for my computer wise, you know, it's been five years for my computer. If, if it was just my computer, I would consider upgrading my computer with some parts at this point. But that switch is still chugging along. The switch still chugging along. If the Switch Pro were to ever happen, yes, I would replace mine in a heartbeat. But I'd probably still hang on to the console itself and put it in storage. Just because, you know, it still works. Well, actually, I wouldn't put it in storage. I'd like put it on a shelf somewhere where I can where I can monitor it because putting something away that has a lithium ion battery in it putting it away in storage is the quickest way to have that device blow up on you because it goes unchecked which reminds me I've got about three or four old old cell phones in that bin behind that you can see in that bin you can see behind me that I should probably think about selling or at least throwing away Whew. 
Okay. I'm better. Talk about random inane stuff. Reco recover your courage to work out. I think I can talk about it actually for a quick second. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's switch Is sides. anybody who Don't pays attention to Twitter? My, tw my, my Twitter, you know, where I basically post probably too much information. And oh, yeah, I make content on YouTube, which I post my stuff I put up on YouTube today. I had complained earlier this week that this week was going to be hell for me to get through. Uh, I may have lucked out and may not have to deal with that hell on earth. Because, <laughs> long story short on that, is to cross-train me, to cross-train me uh, for my building where I'm working at right now, they put me in a department. And, you know, at first, like, okay, I'll just suck it up and deal with it. It's not my department, but this is an as-needed kind of thing. So if they need more people, I need to go there and support this department. I have uh, lost my sense of teamwork. I had lost my sense of teamwork and camaraderie last week when I started doing that. When I started cross training for that position, and pretty much every single supervisor knows. But I also told them that I know it's part of the job, so I'll tough it out. I'll tough it out and go through it anyway. But, as luck would have it, With your legs bent slightly, as luck would have it, either they ran out of work in that area to, to accommodate people to cross train there, or it's a combination of that and or the fact that one or two machines went haywire over the weekend. So. Unless I put some of their core employees out of work for a couple days, they cannot have me working in an area simply because I will drive their employees that come in there to work daily in that area out of the job for, for a day or so. So I may have lucked out of having to cross train any further, at least for the time being. job in the past, why don't I name the place of the business? Or why don't I talk about the business name itself? Is there something wrong? A little bit. It's called the integrity, it's called the integrity of the company as a whole and my own integrity. Where if I were to talk about that, that company and all of a sudden word gets back around to that company that I talked about them openly and what's going on. They come down to me and say, you can't discuss this. This is confidential information. I highly doubt it will happen, but you never know. You never know what can happen. Especially in this day and age when people can track your IP simply by following you on Twitch now. Which, hey... That's a fun thing going around we could talk about. That's mildly dramatic. Watch out, Scooter's getting into drama. 
So for anybody that doesn't know, there's been a... I'm going to call it a plague, because that's what it is. There's been a plague of bots going around on, on Twitch primarily now. That if you go live, that for some cases, if you go live... Drop your hips. Um, occasionally a bot can find your find you live streaming and can follow you and in the process of following you can a reveal your IP address yeah they can they can reveal your IP address oh god this is not measuring it at all <laughs> never mind I measured it perfectly I mean I was doing a lot of squats so it's gonna happen anyway but yeah, they can track your IP address flawlessly, and they can do a follow bot where basically they mass spam your follow you with follows and hateful comments, and those names of people that follow you are also very hateful comments, and it's disgusting to say the least. I won't delve any further into it. Just know that I'm aware. I'm aware that's what's going on. I know why it's going on and, how, and who they're primarily doing it to. All right, let's move. I guess what ethnicity rather is the uh, more accurate term? Who's getting the flack? While pushing I guess me, ethnicity and stuff. orientation, I'll say. Great. And all I gotta say is People really have too much time on their hands if they're going to sit there and code a bot that is nothing but take us back, but take us back as a civilization, bare minimum 100 years, if not further. Forgive me for getting on my stump, and I'll st and I'll get off it really quick. But separation, separation, and segregation's over, dude. of it's a time of peace it's a time of camaraderie it's a time of helping your fellow man it's not a time of separation in, in the masses okay. Let's that time been here and gone long ago <sighs> I'm taking a minor break because I can already tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to do this Russian twist. I'm going to KO the two hoplins on the far sides. That's only once. I'm going to counter an attack. I'm going to get hit by the blue protein shaker to power up my legs. And do mountain climbers. And die from the mountain climbers. IRL. Okay, I got to think. Let me check something here quick. We're good. Nothing I can't put off until we're done.
rush, though. So there was part one of doing the of doing the uh, <coughs> belch of doing the uh, Russian twists. So here comes the counterattack guard. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Wait, didn't do it. Why didn't you do it? Oh no! I'm not psycho. I mean psychic. I mean, shut up. Well, if I can put up mountain climbers for longer, the all the better. Clear my head lightly, finish that thought. All I'm gonna say about the Twitch follow bot thing is be safe out there. Be careful who you, who you, ex who, uh, what channel you explore. Be careful if you follow them. And if you know of a known malicious bot account, ban them right away. Don't even start streaming first. <laughs> So, while I adjust my waistband to make sure we don't have a wardrobe malfunction, while I try and get the sweat on my face. So, I talked about this on Twitter before, but I know it's just me because I'm paranoid to quit it because I am because I sit on my platform on these Thursday nights and tote how I got healthy by doing not copious exercise. I get paranoid. I don't know if this happens to anybody else. I get paranoid when I go to put on a shirt that I know is technically smaller than what I'm normally wearing or what I'm comfortable wearing, even though I bought smaller shirt sizes for my entire wardrobe at this point. But like I go to reach for, in this case, I go to reach for an extra large shirt and go, oh, I don't know. After, you know, my double X's are fitting loose, but I, I'm worried about this extra large. And then I put on the extra large and I go, this is mildly loose as is. Why was I worried about this? I hate my brain.
Rolling Thundaga, thank you for the follow. Oh no, they're gonna hit me with that Rolling Thunder. Here it comes. Clash your cheeks. Here comes the true combo. So yeah, basically, long story short on that, I hate my brain. Thank you. So yeah, just to reiterate the thing, I hate my brain because it basically betrays me trying to tell me, hey, uh, trying to tell me, you put on like 70 pounds over the last two weeks, bro, you can't fit into the shirt anymore. And then I put on the shirt and find out it still fits the same. 30? Yeah, almost 30. Out of the hour. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little crazy. Like I was saying, just to recap for you, Rolling Thunder, as I was saying before you came in. Double X's fit loose on me. Like fairly loose. And every time I pull a regular extra large out of the closet, my brain likes to go. You can't fit in this anymore. Haha. -ha. And then I put it on, it fits perfectly. If not, still loose. I love my brain. I hate my brain. diving into personal territory, but I am a streamer. It is, unfortunately, comes with the name tag of streamer to overshare every now and again. But the same stuff happens with me and being social with friends or family. Of just, your friends love you. They want to hang out with you. And then my brain lets to go, but what if they're doing that just to hear me? Sometimes my brain doesn't even give me a reason. My brain's just like, mm, you don't want to be social today. Okay, brain, but why don't I want to be social? You don't want to be social today. Can I get a re- No, you don't want to be social today. Okay. It might be the constant belting. <laughs> that might be a key factor. All right. Well, I'm gonna go become a puddle on the floor. Yeah. Excuse me, I need to, I need to be, I need to be excusing myself more often. <laughs> I have two very impressionable nephews. <laughs> both boys, both in the single digits of age. And as, and as uh, forgive me, I'm not going to address the obvious elephant in the room there, but for anybody that does, that remembers being a boy in the single digits or knows of a child, a male child that's in the single digits, anything that involves gas is something that's hilarious, repeatable, and will be remembered for all time. <laughs> Like, bro, again, oversharing. I'm in my 30s. I still laugh at a fart joke. That stuff does not go away. <laughs> it is terminal.
okay, about halfway left. through this. Climbers, though. Big, wide motions. This is the one I always struggle with. I've always had stamina issues. Don't you dare. Okay. Lost the placement on the ring con. Oh. Up we go. Feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Whew. Keep going. Select the okay, where are there they are. Not my head. That's something behind me. You made it. Awesome. Bro, I was dumbfounded. I looked behind me. I looked behind me and I saw something yellow and I thought it was my I thought it was a face. And I was like, did my camera slide down or move? Too soon. There we go. There we go. Double up. Uh, uh. 1 800 mix a lot. <laughs> Man. Once again. I, once again, I have said a singular comment that has aged me as I spoke it. There we go. <sighs> and down we go. As a drill instructor would say, as to the grass private. <laughs> That's what we do for squats around here. Ass to the grass. <laughs> Um, huh, you know, a week of skipping ring fit 
may have something to do with my lack of stamina lately. I shouldn't say I completely abolished exercising, but I didn't do a full ring fit session anytime recently. <laughs> Plans in life, they do things. All right, I said take a break. I'm gonna find my zen for half a minute. Whew. Yeah, let's look at numbers. Oop, too many numbers. 216 calories burned, all right. Almost a mile on the run, and 33 minutes. Randomly crashed Bandicoot in my head. I guess, can you guys even see this that well? Kind of. I put, sorry, I'm, we're still regaining my composure. I put together this shelf last weekend just to more predominantly show my collector's things I've gotten over the last year, over the last few years. I know things I feel are important. And like, I know you guys can see this, this red thing, but you probably can't see much of else up here just because of the camera position. Oh, okay, pardon me, minorly disgusting, but out, it's like, it's still in dead heat of allergy season. Oh, you know how, you know how much it sucks to work out while you have allergies. You know how much it sucks to wear a mask for an extended period of time while you have had allergies? A uh, face, you know what mask I'm talking about. It's the hot topic lately. Wearing a mask while you have allergies only to have excuse me um to wear a mask and have other people use fake excuses to not wear a mask. Sorry. That's been a hot button topic for me all week and I, for like the last two weeks and I've been holding it in. I'll try, to, I'll try to dwell dwell on it because I'm pretty sure everybody else has experienced this hot button topic and don't, and don't want to talk about it as much like really. The enemy's color, then select the skill. Just people who are perfectly capable, healthy human beings that refuse to wear a cloth, a piece of cloth over their face for 45 minutes at most. Hello, Wisp. But people who refuse to wear a piece of cloth over their face for 45 minutes at most. Meanwhile, there's people like me who have, who have had to wear a piece of cloth over their face for eight hours straight in sweltering heat and no air conditioning with asthma. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I should say, I will say just for a quick second here, because you know when you get when new people show up, this is me shilling. Hey, you see all these links below my head or below below my not so picturesque body down here below the video? That's all the stuff I do besides Twitch. Okay, I'm done shilling.
switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I'm speaking about the future, not right now, by the way, but I'm secretly kind of hoping that I have just enough energy in me tonight after I'm done streaming to play like one or two rounds of Pokemon Unite before I crash. Because, man, I think I did the math when I finished off the stream on Monday, but I think I'm like 13 games at most away from getting getting my rock my rock lobster aka oh no i forgot its name rock bug type in the pokemon universe wow i'm so focused on getting that pokemon that i can't remember its name amazing For some reason, my brain keeps trying to say Crabrawler, but that's not, but that's not the Pokemon. Try and keep your lower body Slowly return to the starting King Sloth. <clears throat> Sorry, it's yoga time. Talking is there, Bolton. <laughs> well, sort of, as I almost fall over myself. Flawless. Crystal. Vanguard. That's the name of that Pokemon, Crystal. <laughs> Oh, my Joy-Cons are going funky. Lucky break. <sighs> okay. Let's I had them charging. I had my, I've had my Joy-Cons charging pretty much constantly since Sunday. And even got a brand new charger to make sure they charge properly, but... You can't fix, you can't fix Generation 1 Joy-Con flaws. <laughs> Actually, wait. This is a new gray Joy-Con. Other, my other gray one put kaput on me. This is my only surviving launch Joy-Con right now on my leg. Why is this one bugging out? We're gonna do this one. Okay, let's move. Good for working those upper arms. Good job. Oh. Nicely done. Something, uh, something else I should say to to new viewers, because I know there's been a couple tonight. If you're wondering why I have the very awkward sweat pattern on my shirt, it's not because I'm sweating in a very particular style. No. King Sloth, I don't mean root, but no. Well <laughs> Just flat out no. I refuse to play horror games in general, and I doubly refuse to play a horror game that's main gimmick is boost book. After five minutes of silence. Dump scares are cheap. I will die on this hill. Yes! Yes! Keep it up. Very nice. Horror is best when it makes you when it makes you question your grip on reality by the time the by the time the game or movie is over. It is not good when it tries to hit you with, when it tries to hit you with a hiccup curing scare every two minutes with nothing in between. Like I said, I will die on this hill. I got visceral, didn't I? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's move. Bend your knees slightly as you do this exercise. Okay. Great. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it on stream before. Maybe even during like a ring fit session, but I will say from back in like 2010. 2010, 2011, when uh, Slender was the was the popping off, the cool hip thing to record for Ya Tab. Um, when it was the when that was the cool thing to record for YouTube, I tried recording. I tried recording, uh, you know, just a one-off video of Slender for Halloween that year. Amazing. I scrapped the video because I didn't get scared. I got angry, waiting to get scared. Okay. It's a, it, the video is gone to Fantastic. the video is gone to nobody but my the back of my head and the annals of space and time. But it's a 12 minute video where I'm walking around that forest, getting progressively angrier as time goes on, because the nine Good foot job. because the nine foot tall dry, dried out shiitake mushroom with nice. with uh, seaweed with seaweed coming out of its back won't scare me. Like I said, but like I will say, if that's your thing, cool, that's your thing. Enjoy your particular brand of horror game. That's fine. That's not me. Like, the horror games I've enjoyed, the horror games I have enjoyed, either doing myself or watching others do, have been the top-down RPG maker horror games such as Mad Doctor and Ao Oni. Oh my god, I just realized that Lily translates to Blue Monster. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a mint. <laughs> It has been nine years since I recorded a video series on Ao Oni. This year, the year I'm learning Japanese, I say it out loud and I go, that literally tra translates to Blue Monster. <laughs> I am a Anyway, back on topic, after, after I jumped off another topic. Yes. Yes. Awesome. I like those kinds of, I like those kinds of things that just make you think. Um, oh, I forget it's like, headline title, all I remember is the subtitle, maybe that was the main title. The last horror movie I ever watched was Annabelle. Okay. Yourself. Which was like based on real events. And like, I like that movie because it had no jump scares. No jump scares whatsoever. It just left you uneasy and very concerned and made you question reality for about half an hour to an hour after you were done watching it. You know, supernatural stuff, I guess. Excellent. The enemy's disoriented. Now's our chance. Rush lift. Anyway, to uh, come back to the first point that I jumped off of twice. Sweat pattern weird. I'm wearing a vest. That's all that was. I'm wearing a vest that promotes sweating in the general torso region. Because that's where I have most of my problem. <laughs> Move about, keeping your arms straight back in mind. Stop, stop, he's already dead. Oh, 128, GameCube.
Let's hold on, let me resync this. I like to admit it, but usually when the ring count starts doing that, it's about three or four workout sessions away from just not recognizing how it's supposed to function. And then I have to buy a replacement one. Can't read it from down here. Very nice. Amazing. Great. Excellent. Neat. Nicely done. Nice. Amazing. Great. Nice. All right. Okay, there we go. Nintendo World, thank you for the follow. I told you I would get to it eventually. Oh, heck. Alright, we're gonna slack on... Oh, shoot. We were gonna slack on it. Um, don't want to do more of these right now because I'm gonna pass out if I do. One of the very rare times I'll do this, but I'm going to recharge my skills. Uh, can I have something like less demanding? I guess not. What are basil mint, basil mint smoothies? It is because I'm not going to do 60 mountain climbers and die. I'll do 20 and die, but not 60. Okay, let's move. Press in on the ring card as you read out. Okay. Fantastic. Did you have a big awesome. thing? Don't worry, happens to me all the time. That's why I think in small words. Yes. And even Fantastic. smaller words. Fantastic. Anything that's over two sounding Fantastic. things together. Amazing. Ow, brain hurt. I did a three. Okay. I'm making fun of myself. I want to make that clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love how I contradict myself constantly in my intelligence. Like, I understand. It's kind of my running bit now. It's kind of my joke. But like, I understand I'm smarter than the picture I paint, but I also like to play into the, into the point of, I am, I am very stupid at times. And the amount that when I am stupid, vastly outweighs the number, the amount and number of times I'm smart. <laughs> best way I can put it, Keep it up. the best way I can put it to you guys is is with this simple sentence of she side this <laughs> okay. well nice. okay. 
saying my brain is very small in another language. Okay, to drive home that point, every now and again, like, if, if I go quiet, or oh, I just stand still, if I go quiet, what I've been doing lately, to help quiz myself, to keep my knowledge of other languages, to keep my knowledge of other languages fresh in my head, I'll, like, pause and blank out in space and time, going, what did this mean I learned this this week in another language? And I won't move again. Just because I'm thinking so hard, I won't move again until I remember what it is. What I was trying to remember is Doitashimaste. Fantastic. Or you're welcome. Fuel my water on water. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. I wish this water was cold. Bring down my internal temperature. Cause we're gonna do these again now. because again a normal person at this point would have stopped their workout I took a picture accidentally a normal person would have stopped at this point in their workout far you know far beyond stop at this point <laughs> excuse me but I am crazy I've said this many times before I'm crazy when it comes to working out loca mi cabeza How many times am I going to sit here and flex my casual knowledge of quarters of languages, by the way? Because I keep doing that. Proficiency in English, like 80%. By the way, primary language. <laughs> Oh. You 
Right. Man, it healed a lot. Go where? Yes! Yes! Awesome! Good job! Hold on. Sharp. My hip is trying to pop out of the joint. So I keep getting a cramp on my left hip. Every time I do this. the week Beat last week because Fantastic. I got Amazing. home from work Very nice. I got home from work Wonderful. I made Great. something light to snack on a peanut butter sandwich actually I should clarify okay. I made a peanut butter sandwich to snack on with full intent to stream within the next hour and a half I ended up Great. going to bed and then I woke up from going to bed at 9 o'clock. I said, it's too late. I can't do this tonight. I'm going back to bed. Okay. I slept 11 hours that night. Fine work. Nicely done. Neat. So yeah, basically last week. Last week I had full intentions of streaming. Full intentions to stream. But my body slept my body said, okay, but sleep? Nobody. Thursday night is a ring fit stream, but sleep. Nobody. Thursday night is a Let this be a lesson to everybody. You can only ignore your body's wants for so long before it'll win out. And that goes for anything. To anybody that has you watching going, man, I want to lose weight and work out too. Push those boundaries. Eat less calories every day like I did. Work out every day like I did. Still do, to an extent. Some days, your body wins. And days your body wins, don't force it to lose, because it's going to want to win twice as hard the next day, until eventually you eat. Until eventually, you either eat an entire pizza and a half, you eat an entire pizza and a half over the course of one day, and or you literally can't get out of bed because you're exhausted or you go to sleep because you're exhausted. Push your body, but remember, your body will probably eventually win at some point in the struggle. Which is why, case in point, after I knew my body was done dropping as much weight as it could that wasn't loose skin, when I peaked at 240 pounds for two months straight doing the same diet and exercise routine. Yeah. 
Push back against your pot, your body's desires. But understand, it will win. Uh, your body will win. Excuse me. Excuse me a second time. And a third time. That's all that water come back up. I just drank. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Like, I'd be lying if I didn't say... I'd be lying if I told you... I'd be lying if I told... If I didn't tell you... If I told you I didn't have cheat days while I was dieting. I'd be lying to you. Granted, those cheat days were like once a month. Good luck. But I still had my cheat days while dieting. Because eventually, your body gets what it wants. Unfortunately, because of where I ended up moving to, my body getting what it wanted, get being four donuts for dinner about once a, about once a month and nothing else. So you can call, so you can low key call me, you can low key call me Donut Lord. On the flip side, I've been noticing a lot recently, and I've been and, and it's been irking me, and I don't know why. But I think I know why, but it, or it still irks me. I know it still irks me. I know everybody's freaking out that Idris Elba is the voice of Knuckles, and we still have Ben Schwartz. Yes, there's another Ben Ben Shapiro. There's two Bens out there that have their last names start with S H. And I get them confused. Ben Schwartz, I believe, is the right one. He's voicing Sonic still in, this, in the upcoming Sonic movie. Why are we not curious if if Jim Carrey is making a return as Dr. Eggman? Why are we not curious about Tails' as voice actor or actress? Are we not curious about the return of Donut Lord and his girlfriend? Yes, the names have escaped me. Forgive me, but... But when I can only remember Donut Lord and Girlfriend, that tells you how much of a prominent role those two played in the first Sonic movie. <sighs> anyway. Man, why is no... This is, these are things I need to take to Twitter and ask once we're done with stream tonight. Okay, let's go. Be sure your wrists I gotta rest my arm for a second. Awesome. Like, that's been irking me. Like, congratulations to Idris Elba he, for being Knuckles. You know, one of the most beloved Sonic characters in the Sonic franchise outside of Sonic himself. Congratulations to him. Why are these other two major roles in the next Sonic movie being forgotten? <laughs> Like, am I the only one that's re that's really irking? Like, I understand not everybody likes Tails. I, I know everybody likes Doc uh, Dr. Robotnik or Eggman. I know everybody likes him. Trust me, I see, I've seen the accounts. You worry me. 
Your, your search history worries me, viewers. say I'm it was a long discussion in another server the other night but I will say probably still one of my favorite quotes I mean Sonic Boom is full of many quotes oh have a good night one of my favorite quotes from Sonic Boom that still ring through my head outside of the outside of outside of the Roger who's Roger he's talking to me thanks buddy Outside of that, um, is Eggman casually approaching Tails, just saying, It looks like you could use a spot of help. I thought you were our enemy. The bro code trumps the enemy card every day. <laughs> just Eggman acknowledging bro code. For as bad as Rise of Lyric was, the cartoon it is was didn't that get, did that did Sonic Boom the cartoon get canceled after you? Sonic Boom the cartoon is a veritable gold mine of jokes, a treasure trove as it were. Okay, well we've gone over 300 calories. That's my low end goal for the day. For every day I work out rather. That was to the beat? I don't believe you. Do I have? Yeah, I have this back. Alright, I need a moment to recoup. That was only Warrior 2 poses, but man, that pulled a lot out of my system. Okay, good. The headphones are still on. Okay, you can barely see them. But this black mass over here by this speaker, this are, this is my headphones. This is how I hear the game. By the way, they're cranked up to max volume. I can still barely hear the game. So, only thing that lets me know that they're still working, that I have an, a chance of hearing noise, is a green blinking dot inside of them. Select it first. Okay, let's move. Focus on your chest muscles and press in. Fine work. Well done. Very nice. Fantastic. Nice. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Unless, okay. unless exhaustion wins over. 
excuse me, and again, shortly after I'm done with this session, which is probably going to be one stage more, maybe, depending on how long the stage is, after I clean up after the stream, tonight's dinner is just hot, I just hat dogs. Boil hat dogs. I know, the meal of champions. But. But, should my exhaustion win over, I don't know if I'll even get that far. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion. I'll finish tonight's Ring Fit stream in, within the next half hour, if not less. I'll finish this Ring Fit stream, I'll go clean up, and then I'll just say nah to dinner and go right back there to my bed. <laughs> But considering, okay. Nicely done. considering my uh, basically what I'm just not, what I'm currently have burned just burned off from today's exercise program of well a handful of Cheetos, one Oreo cookie, and about nice. twenty green olives. I should probably okay. eat something with protein or substance to it before I go to sleep, so I don't wake up a okay. puzzle tomorrow morning. Like, you know how they do in uh, ancient okay. Egyptian movies? With the uh, focus on a mummy? Just wake up tomorrow morning. That was amazing. <laughs> that sounded as delightful as you think it did. That was full when I started, by the way. All right. We're gonna try and do one more tonight. The first things first, just like. Charge. I was going to say to recharge. I'm going to go to the shop, but apparently I have a money match here. Okay. I wasn't being cute, by the way. It's a little much. Wait, I have quick buttons for smoothies. When I'm using just button layouts. Gur. Gur, he says. Give me banana. Wise man once said, Oh, banana. Uh, a wise man also the once said, I'm a disgusting man who belches constantly into the wild. I don't know who that wise man was. But Godspeed. <laughs> oh, I'm a detriment to myself and society. Have, has anyone noticed that yet? Get the double money thing. Well done. Awesome. Great. 34. All right. Wonderful. Nice. Sharp. Fantastic. Excellent. Fine work. Nicely done. Good job. 
So, by the way, that's the first time that I've ever stopped mid-rep on those pendulum bends. It's, uh, it's a problem. It has now become a problem. That's why we get smoothie bonuses for money. Because it doubled our money. So instead of 1,500 coins, we got three grand. There, I now match. Okay, still by the bottoms. No, they took a garnet. Or garnet. Whatever that is, okay. I need one more garnet. So let's see. I need about a seven minute run. That one would work. The top one would work. The middle one would work. The bottom one would work. the most calories. That was 51, 59, 52. This one. Okay, before we take any steps, let me double up. There. And now we can run. Let's go. Oh, I thought that was the jump. Missed it. Okay, let's uh. select the skill. Uh. Oh, I'm pushing myself too hard. Okay, let's go. If I collapse, I don't think I am. But in the event I collapse. Don't worry okay. about me. Excellent. Don't worry about me. I'll regain consciousness eventually, as long as I don't hit a desk. Awesome. I don't have a good place to stand in the case of lightheadedness winning. repeat myself, I'll be okay. This last exercise, this last routine, the last set, uh, stage may just take a little longer than all the other ones. Overall. thought at the beginning of today of today when I was gonna to stream tonight that I would possibly overpower my overpower my exhaustion and do something else for a little bit extra a little bit extra tonight that didn't happen I'm gonna be blunt and upfront with you guys this is the last thing we're doing on stream today so get your gongers or your poggers or whatever the cool twitch thing is today Get him going. God. Yes, yes. Guys. You know you're becoming a relic, uh, a, a product and relic of that product, of, of that time of the internet. When you remember Razor Dongers and remember that, oh God, that is 
ancient talk. That's back when League of Legends was a respectable game. Instead of every new hero is some form of Hosbando or Waifu. Those things sell. But come on, Rito. Give me give me more gross amalgamations. Give me more right. disgusting eyeball Good monsters. Give me more space cats that read books for their left. that read books on the sly for their magical powers. Give me more Ramus. Give me more. Lucky break. Select your skill. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be a mistake. I'm well aware, but we're doing it. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm coming back. To, I'm not saying I'm going to go back and play League at all. Period. End of statement. Over and out. 10-4. Do you copy? I'm not saying I'm returning to League. Ever. But I know some people who started playing League grew up... You know, grew up with gross amalgamations for characters. And now it's just, what's your anime flavor of the week for your new heroes? Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I realize it's not anime. But, you realize it's a problem when your most recent champion is anime Aladdin with a gun. I think I've done these tonight, actually. But I'm in no area to talk, considering my recent game of focus in my spare time has been Pokemon Unite, aka Baby's First MOBA, aka League with a skin of paint, with a Pokemon skin of paint. most recent Pokemon added is literally Ezreal, but waifu. <laughs> well, Ezreal's already a waifu, but that's besides the point. Okay, let's go. This will target your ass. Excellent! Shark! Great! Okay! Oh, 
Hollow, is it? The two Pokemon I currently play the most in Pokemon Unite is Ola, but more muscles, and Lux, but a plant frog, tur turtle dinosaur. Like I said, Pokemon Unite is literally League with a Pokemon skin of paint or coat of paint on it. Made for babies. Amazing. Of which I am one when it comes to MOBAs. <laughs> See, this 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 entire rant is gonna call up post against myself. Very nice. Nice. Neat. Nicely done. <laughs> yes. Can't offend anybody with your words when you, the person making the rant, is the target of the rant. Pushing to go this, this much further tonight was was a mistake as is. <laughs> that being said, allow me to over share an iota. I have to use the restroom. <laughs> Get another fight though. Okay, let's select the skill. Okay, let's go. Keep your hips still as you twist your body. Fantastic. Nice. Okay. 
Oh good, two of them are ticked. Thank goodness. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. Like I said, I'm beyond the end of my rope, actually. But I'm pushing through to make up for some lack of exercise I've had the last few days. One could almost say a punished streamer. my luck, I'm probably going to put on the most strenuous physical activity possible in my department tomorrow. Because that's just the way things roll in my world. Almost there. All right. yeah. Feel the end of everything as I Great. almost fall over forward. Oh. Awesome. Okay. That will be my luck during one of these ring fit streams. Is I'll body. fall forward right. onto my face mid sentence. Whenever I do eventually pass out doing these. But currently it is not that day. Especially when I think this is the last stretch. I know the feed is not big enough for you to see, but my arms are trembling right now. As various friends of, my, of the Puddles crew would say, a Steiner's Gambit paid off. the ending point for tonight I pushed myself further than I should have and that last stage which said it would take like 8 minutes took like 20 <laughs> but hey almost 400 calories burned that's more than what I normally do uh oh fireworks Two. 
Yeah, for my solo working out stuff that you guys don't see because I just do that in my own time. Let's stretch. Let me grab my chair in case I need to do additional stretches. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Raise both arms and pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. Oh yeah, I should probably go through my whole uh, outro, shouldn't I? So hey, did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask before the end of the now stream tonight? The on the opposite side. Um, unless something else comes up, Stretch currently Saturday's plans, cur Saturday's current plans are, <clears throat> excuse me, Saturday's current plans are to either play Bring more Pokemon Unite slowly. Or to go see what this whole ranked mode is in Mario Golf. And hold it uh, with your right arm. Super Rush. I almost called it World hold Rush. Your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. See what... The, yeah. Basically, Saturday is going to be a competitive day, so to say. And who knows? Depending upon how I feel now or how salty I get, maybe I'll bust out some old, some quote-unquote old-school Switch games be careful not to, to uh, what is it, to get competitive in. I don't know. I still got my copy of Splatoon 2. Bring yourself back slowly. I still got my copy of Mario Kart 8. Rotate your hands behind your back. I have my copy of Mario Tennis Aces, wrist. but I haven't. I've played a total to of right. like an hour and a half of Roll that game. Your neck the same way. Oops. I don't know what it is. The Mario Golf games I go gaga for. The tennis games not so much. Bring your neck back up and stretch in the opposite direction as well. Stretch slowly. Don't overdo it. And if you don't lose, your, and if you don't lose your, uh, if you don't lose your collective mind over Bring Mario, uh, Mario slowly. Striker, or yeah, Mario Strikers or Mario Join Football, in front of something's you. wrong with you. Position your glutes as if you're going to sit down, then stretch your hands forward. Mario Strikers will forever be the goaded game, the sport Mario sports game. Bring yourself back slowly. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. And then return to your original position. Monday. Switch hands and depending upon how I feel. Monday we may go we may return back to more normal, stretch quote unquote slowly. normal. Don't overdo uh, it. Streaming game titles, you know, streaming games that I mean to beat. Instead of just Bring playing multiplayer stuff slowly. constantly and ring fit otherwise. And your stretching is complete. Whoa. Good job. Okay, that last one was a little much. <laughs> okay. Hello. Niasen. Oh, B3 minerals. Got it. I mean, I take a day, I take a multivitamin, I take a gummy multivitamin every freaking day. So I think I got that covered. Anyway, well, that is that all done. That is the stream all squared away for tonight. How about before we go, so before, before we all part ways and so I can go clean up myself. How about I give you guys somewhere to run to that want to continue watching streams this evening? A layman's terms, I'm going to read. So. Who is streaming this evening? <coughs> Um, <laughs> so, all right, here's your choice. I got choices for you guys tonight. And if you guys don't pick, I will pick myself because I already see one target I would go to that I would sit around and watch for about 30 minutes before I give up, for the, before I give up uh, the ghost for the night. 
Also, you can see this, me switching over my audio input so you, so you guys don't uh, get ruined by this. So, for those of you who want to choose where we raid tonight, your choices are... Lithero is doing the Bardock boss raid in Dragon Ball Fighters with I Heart Justice and probably Zizix, aka Gary, aka Twitch.tv sensation Zizix underscore. Um, Tom Fox is playing Metop Metopia, not Metopia, Metopia. Uh, Nakatalili, using his self made. Uh, Avatar, or VTuber, if you will, is playing Outer Wilds or Resident Hearts, which is going to be my choice if nobody uh, gives input, playing Pokemon Unite. So I'll run through it again really quick. Lucero, Dragon Ball Fighters with Friends. Tom Fox, Metopia, Nakatuli, Outer Wilds, Res Resident Hearts, aka Platinum Rhythm, with Pokemon Unite. What is the vibe? What is the feel? What is the want? What is the desire? No, I will not give you 350. <laughs> All right. So I'll wait a second just to make sure I don't overshadow anybody's choice, but I think it's going to be, I think we're going to go ahead and just hit up Platinum Rhythm, a.k.a. Resident Hearts for, well, the game you see highlighted on my screen, Pokemon Unite. Everyone, thanks for coming out to, uh, sorry, thanks for coming out to a Ring Fit stream after missing one for a week due to exhaustion, and Saturday will be a probably we'll get we're just gonna call saturday nintendo competitive day anyway let's go raid let's go raid the lad uh see how nasty his uh, uh see how see how nasty his alolan vulpix is but yeah again thank you all so much for coming out this evening and i shall see you on saturday Take care, my friends and my friends and foes alike. Why did I say it like this? I don't know.